Item number SCP-7477 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures All known factors for SCP-7477 have been destroyed. So the necessity of terminating the last known carrier of SCP-7477 is currently being debated. Description SCP-7477 is a biocognito hazard incubating in organisms attempting to determine a solution to a complicated problem or project. As defined by the affected individual, SCP-7477 is capable of infecting organisms that are not working on such a problem, in which case it will lash onto an applicable problem when the organism begins working on it. SCP-7477 has displayed extreme versatility in hosts, able to affect both human and non-human organisms. Based upon what information can be gathered and testimony from the sole surviving carrier of SCP-7477, when a viable solution to the associated problem is reached by an infected carrier, SCP-7477 detonates. At this time, the head of the affected organism will spontaneously explode. The force of the explosion exponentially scales with the size of the affected organism's head. A human head explodes with force roughly equal to a grenade, whereas an affected blue whale's head exploded with a force equivalent to 10 kilotons of TNT. Individuals who observe the process of SCP-7477 detonating interact with the physical remains of a carrier, especially the head, or otherwise interact in a first-hand capacity with the SCP-7477 explosion or its effects become infected with SCP-7477. If information regarding SCP-7477 is significantly distorted, the cognito hazardous properties fade. For example, the ashes of victims' heads do not carry the effect. Level 5 Clearance Required Known active SCP-7477 carriers The final carrier of SCP-7477 is the Gnostic Monate. It is affected as a result of its omniscience upon the initial manifestation of SCP-7477 which it has identified as a malicious plot of the Demiurge and a corruption of the emanations. It has relayed to the Foundation the details surrounding its infection, and as a result has been designated as SCP-7477 Infinity. While SCP-7477 Infinity is theoretically capable of neutralizing SCP-7477 through its omnipotence, its affected project is the best way to neutralize SCP-7477. Therefore, SCP-7477 Infinity is incapable of determining a method of neutralizing SCP-7477. SCP-7477 Infinity has recognized that it is both temporarily transcendent and omnipotent. SCP-7477 Infinity has also recognized that being incorporeal and unassociated with the physical universe, SCP-7477 Infinity does not have a head which could explode. Despite these factors, SCP-7477 Infinity claims that it remains unwilling to neutralize the anomaly. SCP-7477 Infinity apologizes for the inconvenience.